All right, folks, you're listening to Busker Broadcast, and I'm Abby the Spoon Lady, and we've got some special guests here with us. Y'all want to introduce yourselves? Yeah, my name is uh, Leroy Johnson. i got my company is Mr. John Grizzle and Hiram Abraham Sawyer. We are the County Criminal Choir from Johnson City, Tennessee. Awesome. Now, uh, when I had first run into y'all, you were you were busking um, down there in front of Spiritex. Yeah, uh, we decided one time that we figured we might come up to Asheville because Johnson City wasn't looking so promising that weekend. <laughs> yeah, so, Johnson uh, City's not looking very promising any weekend, really. No, it's it's a pretty quiet place, generally speaking. Do you guys busk in Johnson City? Yeah, yeah. all the time. All really? The time. Yes. Yeah, that's usually how we do band practice. Oh, that, that's a great way to do band practice. Yeah. I yeah. love hearing you say that because, you know, I, I tell buskers all the time that, that, that busking is a little bit of paid practice, and it's awesome. Exactly. Yeah. That's it's the awesome. same thing that we go by. Yeah. yeah you no, get to have band practice, and you get to make a little bit of money while you're at it, too. You yeah. Know? And you get feedback. Yeah. You know, you, you get to see what people are reacting to, what you should be focusing on. Yeah. So it's, it's more than band practice. It's performance practice, which is a huge part of a show. But yeah. sometimes fans kind of forget, yeah, unfortunately. Well, you got to keep practicing, <laughs> and there's no better way than to get paid while you practice. Right. Yeah. And buskers, buskers end up with a lot more of that performance practice, uh, a lot more dealing with people, relating to people, and a lot of times it helps a lot with the musicianship. So when you're talking about professional street performers, you're talking about not only professional musicians, but the folks that can put on a professional show, and that's that's admirable. It, it's, it's a <laughs> yeah, it is. It has to be well practiced to be good at it. Exactly. So, uh, how do folks find you guys on the internet? Um, well, our uh, Facebook is facebook.com backslash county criminals, and uh, that's the main site that we go off of, is that one. And then we have uh, videos on YouTube that uh, one of our good friends filmed for us. Reverb Nation. Well, we don't have Reverb Nation up. Oh, well, we'll have a Reverb Nation up soon. Reverb yeah. Nation backslash County Criminal Choir. Um, well, I am posting your links on our Busker Broadcast page right now and also on the Asheville Busker's Collective page as we speak. So, um, do you feel like you're going to return to Asheville to do some more busking in the future? Uh, yes, ma'am. We plan to come around a whole lot more. We had a whole lot of attention the first time we came here, and yeah. we're hoping to have more love as we stay longer. Yeah, so so it seems like you were well-received. Folks really kind oh, of yeah, enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, pretty much any song we drew a crowd just as soon as we started playing, they'd start hearing it, and we were there. Yes. That's, that's what I want to hear. That's exactly what I want to hear. Um, it, well, we didn't really realize how much better it is up here for busking <laughs> and how much more, how many more people are just out walking around. Wait, have you done the Knoxville busk yet? Mm -hmm. I have, but I used to live there. So. so it's on a different level for you. Yeah. Yeah. Knoxville isn't too bad. No. Nashville is, it just kind of depends on the week. Uh, as far as the police department's concerned, or <laughs> the other buskers are concerned, or whatever. Uh, oh, we don't care. Hey, you know, if there's other buskers, I'm sorry, but we're a rude set of them. We'll sit right beside of you and play, play oh, music. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I mean, if well, we're 50 feet away, you know, that's that's about the best I can do for you. Well, yeah. what we did last time is just wait till people finished on a good spot, you know? Right. Well, in Asheville, we, we do the two-hour rule thing where we all kind of just float around every two hours. And it makes it a lot easier because in other cities, folks are, are um, a little bit more competitive. And here, it makes it so that everybody kind of gets a chance and it's a lot easier than, you know what I mean? Yeah, we try to rotate a lot, but like I said, we will set up right next to somebody. I mean, we will, well, but you gotta at make the same yours, time, you we'll make yours. pretty right. quick. Right. All right. Um, well, let's start. Let's give them a taste of what you got so that they know what I was impressed with. And I don't, I don't say that very often. I do appreciate <laughs> it. I do appreciate it. This is actually one of our newest ones. Um, this is called Carter County Hotel. And I'm figuring that this is going to end up being the title track for uh, our upcoming album that we hope to have out in 2016. 
So like I said, we're County Criminal Choir and this is Carter County Hotel. Everybody ready? One, two, one, two, three, go. I need your help. Can I borrow your car? I bought you some drinks so you don't have to go far. Then I was flying out on the open road. Gotta sell some of this stuff so I can lighten up my load. One more quart of shine, just one more gram of grass. I look in the rear view and the cops are on my ass. I stomped on the gas, I had to leave Tennessee. Everything turned to blur, rolling down 19 I looked back behind me, I didn't see a soul But the last thing I saw was a my boat living hell and I don't believe I'll ever leave the Carter County Hotel I like that <laughs> I like that a lot I, I do apologize I had to pull away from the mic I forgot one particular word that was in it so um, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> um, well well what was that one called again uh, Carter County Hotel Carter County Hotel and y'all wrote that one? Uh, yeah, I actually wrote that one, I'd say, about, what, six days ago? Yeah. Awesome. So y'all do a lot of writing? Or, uh, or is it you that does most of the writing? Or I do, do most like of it, but that's not to say that they don't do it, because he's got a song that we've got that's called Nothing, and it's a wonderful song. It's one of the slower ones that we do, and uh, Hiram is in the act of writing a song right now. I think it's called Lucifer's Envy. Mm -hmm. So oh. it's, you know, so, so we all writing. share cool. the writing, but yeah, I, I've done most of it so far. That, that's cool, that's cool. Um, how long have y'all been playing music and, and doing this together uh, or, or separate? I mean, we'll let Mr. Grizzle answer this one first. All right, Mr. Grizzle. Um, I just got with these guys a couple months ago, two or three months ago, uh, but I've been playing with Leroy here for a few years, a few good years. We went to high school together, um, but I think we sound pretty good together, and I like Hiram's bass a lot. He does a whole lot of good for us. Well, um, I got started, I'd say, around the time whenever I was 10, 11, I started playing in church, and uh, so I learned the old gospel style pick, and, and then after that, I believe my first song was Amazing Grace, and my second one was uh, Stairway to Heaven, so it was just like, you know, everyone's like, oh, praise God, I want to play rock and roll. Yeah, so, well, you know, evolution is what it, it is. It is. <laughs> and let's try. Well, I started jamming with Leroy about... <coughs> year and a half ago we met playing for a different band and uh, we had a we had an actual full band then five people and uh, it kind of imploded and everybody went their separate ways and uh, I really liked jamming with Leroy so we decided to start something up on our own and we've been doing this what about six seven months eight months 
Yeah, something like that. I'd say about six. Yeah. Just to make an even number. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we've we've all been playing together now for about six, seven months, and with Grizzle, it's been a newer addition. Um, I think you joined up like what three or four months ago. Yeah, something like that. And uh, that was generally because you know two people we can play pretty well, both of us, but you know it's still kind of empty in the background. And my good buddy Grizzle and me has been playing for years, so of course I turned to an old friend and I said, "Hey, why don't you come and play music with us?" I need your help. We're actually uh, we're actually still looking for somebody to either play banjo or washboard or something something else, you know. Cool, cool, yeah, awesome. There's lots of street performers floating around here and musicians floating around here. There's an overabundance of musicians here. Not saying they well, have too a, much music. There's not many people where we're from that really play this kind of music. Most people either play metal or punk music. That's wow. the majority. Yeah, yeah, and you're wanting some a little bit more, uh, kind of sounds like more on the countryside there. Yeah, 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 for sure. We definitely want it to still hold a lot of the bluegrass and country feel of it. And, uh, you know, in particular, that was why I wanted Grizzle to come play guitar with us, is because he's one of the finest bluegrass pickers that uh, Gay City has ever accomplished. So, you know, I'm, I'm glad to have him here. Mr. Hiram plays a mean bass every day, and uh, we just play our hearts out and try to do the best we can. Awesome. You want to do another one? That sounds like a plan to me. Which one we do? Uh, um, let's, let's do Don't Move. Don't to. Move. <coughs> yeah, this is uh, Don't Move. This was my first song that I ever wrote as a... Uh, band that was back whenever I played with Leroy in his Dusty Bible and uh, that one didn't work out but you know we yeah, that's how it's the song a little bit that's how me and him met was playing for Leroy in his Dusty Bible and Leroy in his Dusty Bible all right boys you hit that A minor for me one time uh oh tune in song That little guitar doesn't stay in tune very well. There you go. All right, perfect. Sorry about that. Now, this is Don't Move. This is about a bank robbery, and I uh, hope y'all enjoy it. Of course. Yeah. One, two. I uh, one, two, three, go. Well, 
y'all have plans on taking any of this on the road or stuff booked on the, in for the future? Uh, yes, in fact, we plan on having an album out by 2016, as I said earlier, called uh, Carter County Hotel. And as soon as we can get that album produced and you know have it out and ready, we want at least 10 songs. We've got seven. Yeah. So we've got just three more songs to go, and we're coming up with them as we speak you know like right now i'm thinking of them every day but uh you know after we get 10 we'll definitely have it out by 2016 and then we plan on going on the road awesome awesome you have any cities in particular you're wanting to visit uh, nashville i would love to go to nashville is there anywhere in particular that you would like to go i don't know i'd like to go to uh louisiana just to get wild down there with louisiana yeah. Yeah. new yeah. orleans would be Flipping wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what about really, we, I'd like to go just anywhere people wanted to hear us. I don't really care where it is. I just like playing, you know. Uh, um, we know some bands that are already touring and stuff, and they told us, you know, that once we get all of our stuff worked out and we're ready, they could actually help us plan our route and everything. So I can help you in Nashville a little bit. I do appreciate it. I would <laughs> love it. Um, we, I would also like to go to Chicago, just generally because I've heard that's a really good scene for the kind of stuff that we're into. It, it is. It is. The, the busking there, though, the, the permit is $100. And, um, uh, we plan to be millionaires. $100 ain't nothing. <laughs> uh, well, no, I way, wish. You guys jump through <laughs> a few hoops there. So you might want to call ahead and make sure. Well, I do appreciate that uh, advice. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, there are a lot of cities that are really 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 good for street performing and also good for the type of music that you do and, and especially regionally here yeah and so i, I don't really see y'all having a hard time whatsoever i think they'd really like you in louisville and, yeah. and, and on the in the scene there um, they have a lot of of bands that are kind of geared towards they, they really kind of like this style of music we've got bad luck with kentucky yeah yeah we oh. we had a bad experience in kentucky <laughs> but yeah, as, l as long as we don't go back around there, we'll be all right. The folks in Bowling Green, we are sorry. We are not as bad as they made us out to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, uh, we we did our first music festival, and things kind of got crazy, and yep. we had to get out of there pretty quick. Yeah, it was like, it would have been my fault if my friends weren't too drunk. <laughs> like... It all, and I could have handled it. I could have handled it, but uh, my other band members, just like good band members would do, you know, good friends too, they uh, came to my aid, and there was a brawl that started pretty well, and we were in the middle of it. So, and we weren't the ones who started it, but we were the ones who, of course, got asked to leave. You know. Yeah. But yeah. out of towners. Yeah. Yeah. You know. It happens. Bowling Green is kind of a strange place. They got a Waffle House on each side of the highway, and they they like talk crap about each other behind their backs at each Waffle <laughs> no. House. Well, it was oh, that Waffle House. This that <coughs> Waffle House. That it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it was all local people that we ended up getting into the argument with. Yeah. But you know, that kind of stuff That's happens. It. That's why it's alive. Well, well. Speaking of festivals, though, you you've got the Abington Busker Fest coming up. You're going to be hanging out and doing that one, right? Yeah, I believe it's September 5th, if I remember correctly. Right. And, uh, yeah, it's September 5th, and we'll be doing two one-hour sets between 12 uh, between 12 p.m. and 5 p.m. Awesome. Um, yeah, th they are really, really nice folks. Um, Abington doesn't really have necessarily a humongous busking scene, so to speak. Um, but they're they really really want the music and the action, and they're they're going full force and really really trying and working hard on getting all this stuff together. So it's really awesome you're going out there. Um, yeah, I'm glad that well, we've been asked to play. Yeah, I'm, uh, I've never been to Abingdon, so I don't know how it is, and I'm always excited to go to new places all the time. Well, they came on our show, and we had a nice chat, and we talked a little bit about Busker Fest because we're hoping. Uh, well, if I can get it put together by by next fall, that'd be awesome um, for a busker fest for Asheville, um, which hopefully it'd be a pretty big deal. <laughs> yeah. But um, uh, so I, 
I, I think it would be pretty interesting seeing how Abingdon's first model for their very first Busker Fest goes and how all that stuff pans out. So I'd love to hear an update when y'all are, are finished with that one. For sure. We'll yeah. Yeah. Stay I'd love it. it. I, I would love it. Yeah, and they, they were super nice. So I don't think you have any issues of getting into fist fights with these folks. So <laughs> <laughs> well, this is this will be our first festival actually planned around our hometown. So it should be yeah. fun. We know some people who busk in Bristol on State Street, so hopefully they'll all be there. You ever go to Floyd or anything? Mm -mm. They got a bunch of folks come out and trade songs on Friday night in Floyd all over the streets of Floyd, Virginia. Yeah. That's kind of an interesting thing. Yeah, it's kind of fun. We'll have to check it's into Floyd, that. Where? Floyd, Virginia. Floyd, Virginia. Yep, yeah. Is that anywhere? <laughs> no, I don't think it's, so. It, it's, on, it's on, I think it's on Parkway. Um, we'll have to find that and check yeah. it out for sure. Sounds very interesting and fun. Yeah, well, so, okay, so we got Abingdon coming up. Um, any other things on the horizon? No, we, uh, well, me especially, I've kind of been out of commission just because I've been trying to write music. I haven't done anything, any kind of booking, so. You yeah. kind of have to separate yourself a little bit and get your zone for writing. Just for a writing. little while while I'm, I'm getting everything ready, you know, just to make sure that by the time we're ready to be booking shows like that, then we have everything on point. Yeah, we were taking a little bit of a break, but we got asked to do that busker fest, and you know you can't say no to something like that. So, <laughs> cool, awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, let's see, let's see. Do you all have a specific song that you start or stop with ever? Do y'all do that? Some buskers do. Um, not necessarily. Well, we we usually end with deep in the valley. Yeah, Deep in the Valley is the one that we always end shows with, like, every time. Well, maybe we should save that one for later. Then. Yes. I know we're not done yet. Okay. <laughs> like, that one I'll be picking up the mandolin, and it, I, I like that song a lot. Yeah, I do too. So how long have you all been playing your instruments here? Eleven years. For the guitar? Two years. No, maybe. not even two years. One year, maybe. Maybe one year. Okay. Um, Banjo about two years, two and a half. Um, I'm not that good. Uh, practice, practice. Yeah. Yeah, banjo is a pretty difficult instrument. Whenever I'm singing and I'm, you know, picking like actually doing rolls and stuff, it's just like, uh, 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 you know, doing like that. I just get stuck. You're, on you want to learn bluegrass banjo? Oh yeah, and it's ridiculously difficult for me. <laughs> and it, it's just about making those pathways in your brain. Yeah. You know, eventually it happens if you're persistent. And I, I have, have, after watching you play music, I have full on confidence in your musical ability to pick up a banjo. I do appreciate <laughs> it. I'd say eventually I will get it, but it'll take some time. Yeah. But I do, I thank you very much. Well, m when, when you do figure it out, let me know. We'll have it back in here and demonstrate. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to play another one? Um, yeah, I'm more than happy to. Uh, cool. Which one do you want to do? Either would you like a slow one or a, a good one about our hometown? You play what you feel like playing. This is this is your moment. What, what you feel like showcasing is up to you. Let's either do Trash Fever or The Wager. The Wager would be a good one. The Wager. Yeah, but that one uh, does it. It is it okay so on the radio? Mm, I don't know about that one. Okay. Um, <laughs> then I don't think we can do that one. <laughs> so let's do Trash Beaver. All right, Trash Beaver. <clears throat> this song's about Valley Forge. Awesome. This is where I'm from. Way down in the trailer, there's a hood like you never have seen. On the stove or in the bottle, there's some demons that chasing after me. I sat up in my bed, no rest, pounding in my head, no less. I'm shaking like a leaf, and yet I know what this must be. 
thing got trash, trash fever. There's a rattle in my bones and I can't sleep. Cause I got trash, trash fever. Give me another hit and set me free. Well, I just got back in the neighborhood and I stopped down by that trailer hood and I got my fix got in the mix the trash of Carver County. Well, I took a hit and then lost shit that I was supposed to give. My friends all said it's beyond the way that I was supposed to live. Cause I got trash, trash fever. I got all these crystals deep down in my veins. Dying at trash, trash fever. I can't take my mouth by the rain. Let's go! Take my life by the reins Trash Fever <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, I think Nashville will like you a lot. Uh... From my experience, everybody likes us a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Well, well, you know, um, Nashville in particular, I think, will because um, a little bit of that outlaw country is very, very popular. Yeah. And um, you know, fit right in with exactly what everyone's looking for at this moment in Nashville, and so it's kind of fun. <laughs> well, um, I used to be the lead guitarist in a metal band way back in the day. And that was where I started after I learned from gospel and all that. I yeah. tried power chords and, you know, I got into really aggressive music. And uh, he used to be a metal singer and old Grizzle here used to play marching band. So we've got used to up-tempo beats and aggressive music and I, we've always thought that that was a better thing than what everybody's trying to simple down and dumb it down and slow it down and sing it pretty yeah 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 you just want to hoop and holler and have a good time and do yeah. a little foot stomping and we yeah. are the rough diamond in the coal we are supposed to be rough from the very start there you go there you go that's perfect you know you do what what makes you feel good and that's what makes you happy with your musical career you know it's it's when you start trying to tailor to what other people want or what you feel other people want, then the st stuff starts feeling weird in your heart when you're playing music. Yeah. So yeah, it's important to be true to yourself and, and do it, play it like you mean it. <laughs> Use your meat and potatoes, you know? <laughs> we, we, well, I put everything that I've got into every time that I play. Every time, and from what I see, these boys do the same, and I believe that's why we've turned out so, so good. Yeah. Well, y'all should do some booking here. I can give you a few uh, names of some places that I think might enjoy you. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, and yeah, we maybe we can get that. you hooked up down here with a few things to do. Uh, <coughs> uh, I sure don't mind, and I'm sure that they won't mind. <laughs> so it'll be great. Yeah, we... Uh, <laughs> we really like things up here, um, from what we've seen so far. Um, it's hard to... Uh, to get a following where we're from doing this kind of music just like you know i said most of the bands there are metal or punk bands and that's what most people like so but i mean the people that do like this music are you know really really into it but okay. there's not really that many of them around down there there's lots here and and i am more than happy to plug you in down here and that wouldn't be too hard to do at all so we do appreciate it that's no problem whatsoever um so 
Is there anything in particular that has stood out, like a specific instance while you were busking? Um, actually, for me, I already know which one mine is. Um, this was back whenever I was still playing with uh, Leroy and his Dusty Bible. And uh, we were walking down the street and we were busking and I, you know, we, none of us had a job. We're pretty well homeless and uh, we're pretty well homeless. And uh, so we're walking down the street and we're playing. Nobody's paying us any of attention, not a little bit. But uh, it's something called the Tree Street Yard Sales down in Johnston City and there's a lot of people there. And uh, this family calls us over and they said, our little girl wanted to hear you play. And she comes up, and I swear she had her arms plumb full of flowers that she had picked from her neighbor's <laughs> garden. And she just carried them over and threw them in the bucket, and I almost died. I took a picture of it, put it as our uh, cover photo yeah. on Facebook and everything. That killed me. I loved it. But, That's uh, awesome. Yeah, I, I did like that a lot. You know, we played a lot of the softer songs for the little girl, and she danced and loved it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was it was a good time. Then the family ended up giving us like a hundred dollars on the back end of it. So it's like yes. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Um, street performance is extremely important for for our children because it gets it lets them experience things that otherwise they wouldn't be experiencing. Yeah, they can't um, go in a bar and see it. Well, not even that. You know, different types of music, different kinds of instruments. But also the the other kinds of acts like um, like magicians, jugglers, um, human statues. Where would you go to f to find a human statue if there wasn't street performing? Um, nowhere because it's bananas. But I'd come to Asheville because I've seen like four of them here. They're awesome. Y you get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. if if it weren't for street performing, certain things would die out. And also, I think certain music genres would, would dwindle mm -hmm. away. Like and so it's really, really important for you to be showcasing what you're doing, even where you're at, even if there isn't a whole lot of folks up there, you know, seeking that particular genre of music, because maybe they just doesn't, don't know it exists yet. You know, yeah. One of my favorite comedians started out uh, doing street performing and he was juggling and doing different acts and stuff and it led him into stand-up comedy right yeah everything kind of moves on its own it's a little bit yeah that's how i figured out how to work in front of a crowd and please people in a stadium and stuff was doing it on the street they yeah. said it's way harder to win people over on the street than it is if they're paying to come see you and that's what I was talking about about earlier about um, street performers um, and the preservation of performance. You know, learning how to use your instrument the correct way, learning how to project the correct way, learning how to interact with the crowd. Um, things like that are extremely important when it comes to music in general. And a lot of electrified music nowadays is the the performance and and so on. It's, it's a totally different thing. You know what I mean? When it, when it comes to acoustic performance, it takes practice. Yeah, yeah. It really does. that's why I started playing stand-up basses. I wanted something that I could play anywhere. I could play it amplified or you know acoustic right. or whatever. Right. And we practiced acoustic enough to where whenever we're electric, it just makes it that much better. Yeah. But we're still great from the start. You got to start from the basics, and if you can do the basics right, then eventually you're going to get to where you can do it all right. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, it just takes determination. Right. right. I'd never played an instrument before I, before I bought this, and it was just all pure determination. I was determined I was going to learn how to play a stand-up bass. What, what made you decide to play um, bass? Just, just watching, I went to a, uh, a bluegrass festival at the Carter Family Fold in Hilton's, Virginia, and I went to see Ralph Stanley and that was the the very first time I'd ever seen a stand up bass like on a stage and somebody playing it, and I really liked it. And then I started getting into uh, Hank Williams the Third, and I went and seen them and seen his bass player, and he played a completely different style than anything I'd ever seen, and that's really what did it for me. Awesome, awesome, yeah. Um, all right, you want to play another one? I think we got time for two more songs. Two more songs. Do you have two more songs for yeah. me? Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. But what do you want to yes. do? Hey, this yes. This one. Huh? What do you want to do on this one? <coughs> well, 
So, so folks, we're, we're listening right now, if you're just now tuning in. Um, maybe y'all should reintroduce yourselves real quick and tell them who you are and where to find you real quick for right, those who are just uh, now tuning in. We're County Criminal Choir. You can find us on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, on Facebook, it is... Facebook.com backslash County Criminals. And uh, we are the bomb, if I do say so. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, what, what are we doing here? Let's, it's either the wager or nothing. Can you leave any of the words in the wager out that you can't? Uh, I can try. Feel free to use them. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to need that thing a lot closer. It's okay, it's okay. I'm just giving you a hard time. One, two, three. Me, baby, that you ain't gonna make me choose between uh, your heart and my music and booze because I know what you've been doing. We're at new tune, baby. That's a wager that I know you're gonna lose. Now, baby, don't come around because I don't want you anymore. Done got locking up my windows and doors. You and your bullshit can't stay outside You say you don't know how I sleep at night Well now I tell you that it's better than you, honey Cause I don't dream about marrying doctors with money All I need is a place to call my own and baby For you to know that there ain't no crying when you're gone Now baby, I'm real sorry things that didn't work out I'm sorry you can't I'm sorry I didn't kick you the hell out The very first time you showed your face around my house I tell you, I don't know how I fell for your game I'm sorry I ever heard your name But how could I expect much more When I made my wager on such a little Well, I loved it, and thank you so much for trying so hard. No, I, I, <laughs> I think it's awesome. I let it, I let it slip. I, I, I wouldn't even worry about it right now. I'm just really glad that you guys are here with us, and it's 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 a pleasure to have you here. Well, thank you for having us. Yeah, I do appreciate the offer, and uh, I hope that everybody out there is enjoying it. I, I think I think that they probably are. And, well, let let me let me tell you something. I, I have been street performing about a decade and what I love about street performing is that I get to meet so many new people and also that I get to meet so many awesome musicians and I'm really, really honored to have you on the list. Well, I do appreciate it <laughs> and uh, you know, that is a wonderful thing. I, I couldn't tell you how many times I've run into musicians on the side of the street you know, just coincidentally have my guitar because I constantly do. Yeah. And I, you know, sit down and be like, hey, what do you play? And have them show me something. And that increases my knowledge on things that I can add to my music. And I use that a lot. Now, that, that's a really important statement. When you talk about learning and, and switching things around with other performers, a lot of buskers will float around band to band in Asheville. And you can see by the end of the summer, how much they have learned. I mean, it's like night and day for some of these musicians uh, on how much their their music improves, their picking improves, or their their timing if they're doing percussion, whatever it is. Yeah, and I've watched people around Johnson City grow into good music, very, very talented musicians. Right, all, all, it, all it takes is a way to get it out. And street performing is a really important way to do that. So, yeah, learning, passing things on, oral tradition, that's what that's about. Yeah, one of my favorite things is when you're playing and you meet a musician that, and they know some of the songs that you already know and you end up jamming with somebody you've never met before. Now, are, are there songs that you hear floating around a lot between street performers? 
Uh, definitely one that most know is uh, Johnny Cash Folsom Prison. Yeah. That's one that... That gives me a Nash back every time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's one that 90% know. And then, you know, a lot of them are the old bluegrass stuff like, you know, Circle Be Unbroken or Amazing Grace. Reba! Uh, yeah. <laughs> And then you just play the chords for the first, you know, first two scales, and you're like, now shut up, I'm not playing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Wagon wheel ends up being one of those songs wow. for people. Yeah, that's a that's one that you, that we get asked to play all the time, and we refuse most. Yeah, of the time. most we, of the, we don't play wagon wheel on Busker broadcasts. Yeah, well, I don't blame you. I love, <laughs> I love. It's just been, it's a good song. It's just been overplayed. Yes. I loved it when it came out, and then everyone and their grandmother had it on their radio at all times yeah. of the day, and I was and like, okay, every well, busker was playing it. Every single busker was playing it. Yeah, and it's the same chords to a Leonard Skinner song. All I can do is write about it in the song, and I knew that one. So I was like, why do I need to learn this song? I've already got that chord set. Well, since we're talking about Wagon Wheel, I want to say it, give a big shout out for Matt Kinman. Maybe you're listening online. Thank you. <laughs> well, okay. Um, yeah, let's do another one. Let's do another one. All right. So we doing? Did you got one more or two more? Well, we we got about ten minutes. We can pull it off. All right. Short conversation in between the two. Sure. Sounds like a plan. So which one? Nothing. As a matter of fact, I am gonna play this on man. Here, you grab yeah, the mandolin uh, here. That's he's gonna have to come cool. over here to the mic. Yep. He doesn't sing better. Than <laughs> You've noticed I don't even say much. Well, that's all right. A man of few words, but a man of many deeds. They they know you're there. <laughs> yeah, boy, it's getting close. Ready? You'll throw it one time and sing. Yeah. Right. What's this called? Nothing. Uh, Let's this play is... nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is one I wrote, and uh, they wanted to pick it up, so why not? I guess. You ready? One, two, three, four. around it's just empty bottles and it's got you down you got nothing you got nothing when you walk outside and down on the street you see the man on the corner just a sitting at your feet he's got nothing he's got nothing he set the sign that in letters of red said if it wasn't for your change then you'd find me dead i got nothing Well, you ought to come a man with a wallet so wide But if you look in his heart, he's got nothing inside He's got nothing He's got nothing Well, the poor man asks for what he can spare He looks at him and says, why would I care? You ain't nothing You ain't nothing Well, he balls his fist and he strikes out quick the sight of that swing nearly makes you sick You see nothing You see nothing Well, you get mad and you pull your gun You pull back the hammer at the count of one He ain't breathing He ain't nothing Well, you hear the sirens, but you sound so dull The cop takes his club and he cracks your skull You see nothing Nothing. Well, you wake up in the morning and you're laying in jail and you got no money for to go your bail. You got nothing. You got nothing. Well, he left your belt around your waist. You look at the walls and think sitting in this place. There ain't nothing. There ain't nothing. Well, you wrap your belt 
around the bars and around your neck and lift your feet off the floor. You see nothing. You ain't nothing. And that one was called Nothing. When, when did you write that one? Uh, I wrote that maybe a month before I got with the band, so probably about four months ago. We just uh, recently started playing it just a couple weeks back. Yeah, well, we just recently got good at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Grizzle's been playing it for about a month since he's known it because he showed it to me pretty immediately but that was just because we was hanging out he uh i think he showed it to me before you were part of the band didn't he? yeah i think i did i just really liked that riff and uh, if i couldn't do nothing with it i was going to give it to him to do something with yeah and he ended up beating me to the punch so he got it all right <coughs> now you had one one last one to do which which what was it called and it's called deep in the valley give me a tune with a quickness um, oh. Yeah, this one's called Deep in the Valley. Um, it's a song about our hometown, about Dennis Cove. Um, it's a song about killing somebody and burying them in Dennis Cove. Yeah, basically. About <laughs> six to eight months ago. And it's the first song that he ever uh, played mandolin in the band with. First time I ever played mandolin, I just ended up coming up with the riff, and I was like, "Man, this sounds awesome! I gotta write something." To that. So uh, this is Deep in the Valley, and again, this is County Criminal Choir from Johnson City. You can get us on Facebook or YouTube. Just look up County Criminal Choir. And this is Deep in the Valley. Ready? All right. Ready? One, two, three, go. Out from a party, drunk with someone summer night. Decided on some wrongs I wanted to make right. I went up to the mountain just looking for a fight. Kicked in his damn front door and ended his life. Now he's deep in the valley, six deep in a hole. Back in the hollers where no one will go. He made up his mind when he made one mistake But I wouldn't sweat for his not just a stick The things you have done have shown me your ways Now the time has come to seal your fate Now he's deep in the valley where no one's around Back in the hollows where they can't hear a sound Broken meat in there. Knowing well I had much time to handle this with care. So I wiped down for my prince, I vacuumed for my hair. I dumped off his body, now all to ask is where he is. Deep in the valley, where dead men don't turn. Back in the hollows, for eternity he'll burn. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So uh, I guess I guess tell everybody where to find you again, real quick. And, and uh, all right. Well, first of all, I would like to say it was a pleasure to uh, see you again. I'm, I'm, 
Abby the Spoon Lady. Yep, yep. I guess it's the you best way to address. I am very glad that I came as well. And uh, yeah, we really appreciate you having us. Yeah, and and when you guys get your recording done, or if you guys are, you know, if you're about to go on tour and you come through here busking, let me know, and we'll we'll do an update. You know, for sure. Okay, sounds good. And uh, you know, I would like to thank all the listeners out there for listening. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Again, we are County Criminal Choir. You can find us at facebook.com backslash county criminals and uh you can just look up our name on youtube and some of our videos will come up there's full shows on there and everything awesome awesome full shows that's cool um yeah and so you guys are listening to busker broadcast on wpvm 103.7 fm in Asheville. um if you would like to be part of this broadcast, let me know. Send me an email, abbyspoonlady at gmail.com. Get a hold of us at, at uh, wpvmfm.org. Uh, don't try to trick me. I know the buskers. I'm walking around. If you're not a busker, don't be trying to weasel me onto this show. We might be able to find you another show that you can speak on. So still send us an email, though. Just don't try to trick me. I've had, uh, I've had several people trying to trick me. I'm like, I know, I know. <laughs> well, it takes guts to go out there and play music, and I really, I really enjoyed listening to y'all, and it was awesome to have you. Well, thanks for having us. It's our first chance we've got to do something like this, so it's fun. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll have you back. Hopefully we'll have you back. It'll be great. Um, and if you have other friends from from your area coming down to go busking, let me know too. Okay, uh, we will for sure. In we'll fact, see. hopefully next time you'll see you see us, we'll have a uh, washboard player with us. Cool. Um, it just depends on how things work out. Awesome, awesome. It may right. even be someone in this room. Ooh. <laughs> All right, well, folks, uh, we're gonna take a quick break and get our next artist in. Um, so we're going to revert to some bus break for a moment. And uh, so hopefully you will continue to hang out with us. Um, well, y'all got any last minute shout outs? Um, well, I would like to thank uh, Campbell Morell Music and uh, Wilbur Kilb Hunter and my mama and my sister. And there you go. Anybody else? No, man. What about you? Yeah, I just want to say hi to my son, Aiden. How old is Aiden? He's eight. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Hopefully he's listening right now. <laughs> well, we're going to archive this and put it on YouTube. Y'all will give it, make sure y'all have a copy. And if you want a raw copy, I'll send that to you, too. No hey, thank you very much. I, I would appreciate uh, either of them, really, just as long as I can see it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, folks, go on and break. <laughs> 